Hey everyone and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. On this video we're going to be doing the quest, Prepare at Astera. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. Next is the smithy. It's this way. Over here. Hmm. You're with the Commission's Fifth Fleet, right? The old man in charge, my grandfather, was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me. I'm not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. Never even been to the old world. Here's our smithy. This is where you can craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. Wow! Look at this place. Wanna check it out? in here all right let's talk let's check it out let's talk to some people who are you well what do we have here a new face huh you must be with the fifth well welcome to the new world we can talk business once you've grabbed yourself a weapon that outfit just looks naked without one I'll be here waiting for you I have a weapon it's a little knife Come on now. I could kill things with it. Maybe. Tech Chief. Ha ha ha. All right, newcomers. Which of you knows how to have a little fun? Second Fleet Master. There you are, Fiber. So, the illustrious fifth has arrived. Welcome, welcome. I hear it was quite the rough. Huh? Where's your gear? You need equipment, a weapon, at least. Then we'll talk. Fine, fine, I'll come back later. Wanna get going? The canteen? I am so there. Hmm. Over here. This here's our canteen. Hmm. Hey, over there. Hey, you. <laughs> I knew you'd pull through. Right. We're calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group, worthy comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts finally rewarded. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. This here is the Commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros, a huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. 
Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes them tick, and we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking! You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The Fifth Banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. All right, dismissed. Mm -hmm. Not even here a whole day and already got your first mission. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Well, let's go look into this Jagras problem, but you'll need a weapon first. Over here. There's a box full of equipment you can use in your quarters. Come on, I'll show you the way. Head inside your room so you can grab yourself a weapon. We've placed some basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. And who is this? Housekeeper. Your equipment box there is as full as a feline after a trip through a fish market. Pick whichever weapon you think suits you best. Okay, change equipment. Tutorial, the 14 hunter weapons. Different weapons offer different combat experiences. Great swords hit with devastating force, while the sword and shield allow for quick, mobile flurries. The heavy bow gun, while unwieldy, fires powerful blasts, and so on. Choose any one weapon and take it er, and take to the field. You can visit the training area after equipping a weapon by speaking to the housekeeper in your room. There, you can practice with your chosen weapon as much as you'd like. And it's just showing some different weapons here. That must be the great sword. Heavy bow gun, maybe? I don't know. Different weapons. Okay. And armor, your five piece protection. Armor sets are comprised of five pieces. Each piece offers some amount of defense plus equipment skills to aid you in your hunts. You can mix and match pieces however you like to, f to suit your playstyle. Uh, use L2 and R2 to view your gear's stats and skills. You can save equipment loadouts to quickly switch to your favorite gear combinations. Alright, so it automatically gets you the hunter's knife, but you can pick any of these 14. So, let's go ahead and check out each one, and then we'll decide which one uh, seems best to start with, at least. Maybe I'll stick with it the whole game, maybe I'll switch a lot, I don't know. So, the first up is the Buster Sword. A close range weapon with low mobility but powerful attacks. Now, this one looks interesting, but it looks way too slow. You can see he's just kind of like waiting to line up a hit. And then he finally does a hit here and there, and then he's gonna have to like chill and <laughs> reposition. I don't know, I'm not very impressed. It must hit ridiculously hard, though. Certainly looks like it. So, not really digging that weapon. Next up, we have the Iron Katana. A close-range weapon that facilitates fluid combos and evasion. It's got high accessibility to beginners, 
much more mobile. He's sidestepping and slashing away. That's definitely more to my liking. I don't know if this is just a more powerful monster or what the deal is, but these things seem strong. Might be in for some long fights. Alright, next up, the Hunter's Knife. A close-range weapon set that lets you maneuver quickly and guard against attacks. Also very accessible to beginners. And it's got the shield so you can block, I like that. Was he chugging a potion? Look like it. Seems like a pretty good weapon. I like that. That like upward thrust into the like slam down. Into the downward stab. I like it. All right, next we have the matched slicers. Close range offensive weapons that are used to deal a rapid flurry of blows. For the up close and personal. Looks like he just gave himself some sort of buff too. I don't know though. It looks really showy, but I don't know about its effectiveness. Well, that looks really effective. But he's got some other attacks where he's like flying through the air, but it doesn't seem like he's doing much. Like, right there. So, I don't know. Next we have the Iron Hammer. A heavy weapon used to strike monsters at point blank range and stun them. Now this one seems really effective. Much quicker than that greatsword or whatever it was. And stuns the enemy, so that's good. Uh, I don't know how well it would do with multiple enemies attacking you. I don't know how often that occurs in this game. But it seems like a decent choice. Anything that stuns is usually pretty powerful. Just leaves things wide open. <laughs> Just bash it away on his face. Alright, next up we have the metal bagpipe. This is a weird one. A special support weapon hunters use to gain or provide various buffs. It's like the strangest bard I've ever seen. And I do like bards, but that might be a little too weird for me. Definitely a unique weapon, though. I've never had a bagpipe weapon in any game. Looks like he's giving himself buffs. Right here, it's showing you how you can give other hunters a buff. Seems like a lot of work just to buff him, though. There it is. Yeah, thanks for the buff! Alright, next up, the Iron Lance. A defense-oriented weapon used to approach targets with charges and fancy footwork. So, another shield weapon. For some reason, not very accessible to beginners. Looks easy enough to use, but I suppose there's some skill involved. But it's not coming through on the preview, at least. Uh, but nice to have some decent range. Looks pretty quick. Plus the shield. Looks like a solid option. Lots of stabby stab. Okay. Next up, we have the Iron Gun Lance. A defense-oriented weapon with a variety of shell attacks. So, interesting Lance gun. He just, like, shot a mortar out, although it didn't really seem to do much. Looks very similar to the Lance we just saw, except that it looks like you get some range. Oh, man, he just put, like, a mortar thing on his face. Is that a flamethrower? Oh, no, it was just charging up. Okay, we have the Proto Iron X. A weapon that transforms between a long reaching axe and a powerful sword. 
So this thing is interesting. I like transforming weapons. They're pretty cool. Anything that does two different types of attacks, I'm usually down for. Although I'm not seeing a huge difference between the two. Like, in terms of his attack patterns, it seems about the same. Okay, next we have the Proto Commission Axe. A weapon that stores energy in its sword form and releases it in its axe form. Here's another transforming weapon. Now, what I really like about this one is, at least from the sounds of it, it sounds like you can charge up some massive hits. Plus, you've got the defensive capabilities with the, with the shield. And I think the axe is actually putting the shield on the end of it. Yeah, so like the shield like attaches to it and then becomes an axe blade. That's freaking amazing. So I'm I'm leaning towards this. This this looks like my style right here. Highly mobile, interesting attacks, awesome like morphing capability. I dig it. But let's see what else we have. An iron blade. A lightweight weapon that lets you vault into the air and control kinsects. I have no idea what kinsects are, but okay. I think it's that green thing I have, like, on my belt. But uh, I don't know what it actually does. Because it looks like he's holding it, maybe? Yeah, he's like, oh, okay, yeah, he's like throwing insects at the thing. I think it's like poisoning him. I really like the animations for this thing, though. All the twirling and stuff. Kind of showy, though. Don't know the effectiveness, but it looks cool. Reminds me of Final Fantasy XV with the dodging in midair. Alright, next up, Chain Blitz. A ranged weapon that frees up movement and lets you fire a variety of ammo. Looks very effective, but I don't know how much fun it would be. Because it seems kind of cheap. You just get to stay out of harm's way at range and blast away. I don't know. Seems like it wouldn't be as fun. So I'm probably going to stay away from the ranged weapons unless, uh, unless that ends up not being true. I do like range, but... Only when the game's kind of suited for it, and I'm not convinced that this game is. Seems pretty overpowered to me. Although he is staying pretty close. Okay, next up we have the Iron Assault. A ranged weapon that sacrifices mobility in exchange for powerful attacks. Now this one's not as agile, so... I guess you'd have to time your dodges better, but... Even so, you still get the advantage of a ranged weapon. You can stay at distance out of melee of the enemy. But perhaps that's just this enemy. Maybe the other enemies are way, way better at closing the gap. But this particular enemy, he's struggling. So I don't know. It doesn't look that much fun to me. <laughs> I shot a mortar. I bounced off his face. That's cool. Charge up attack. It's got some interesting stuff to it. Now what's he doing? I don't know. Did we see this before? Looks kind of familiar. Okay, let's move on to the final weapon, the iron bow. A weapon that lets you charge up power and attack from medium range. So once again, ranged weapon. Not uh, thinking this will be fun. But I really do like the animations for this. It's got some cool stuff. Like he just like rained down rocks or something. I don't, I don't quite know what just happened, but that was cool. And at least with the bow, you seem to need to be really close for it to work well. So I don't know. It's it's interesting. If I was to go for a ranged weapon, I think it would probably be this. But I don't know. I'd 
I have no experience in the game, so maybe like all of my first impressions will be completely wrong. But, at least at face value, that's how I'm feeling about it. Alright, so that's all 14 weapons. I think I want to try out the Proto Commission Axe as my first weapon. That one was the most interesting to me. The, the warping and all, or the, not warping, but the uh, uh, morphing of sword to axe plus the shield. Plus the high mobility, I like that. So let's go ahead and pick that. And uh, you can also change from leather gear to uh, chainmail if you want, or mix and match. But I'm thinking I want leather because that should be more uh, agility. Plus, apparently, leather protects against fire and chainmail against water. So I don't know if, how much that's going to come into play, but it might. But I'm sticking with the leather. Want to get going? A new tutorial was added. Once you're ready, head to the canteen. I'll be there waiting with a quest. You can get more familiar with your weapons at the training area. Just talk to the housekeeper to get started. All right, so we completed our quest. Let me just talk to this housekeeper really quick. Because uh, you can actually save with him. I know this looks like some old closet that we turned into a makeshift room for your Mew hunters. Hmm. But that's not the case. I promise. It's fully furnished with everything Meowster needs. You have your very own equipment box where you can manage and change your gear. I just hope you don't mind changing in front of others, because you have roommates. Didn't they tell you about that? No? Uh, okay. Moving on. Your room also comes with an area to manage your Palico's gear. Right next to your bed, even. Convenient, right? Oh, one more thing. If you need access to the training area, just come talk to me. I am here to lend a paw 24-7. I am to... Or, I aim to perlees. Now, what does Meowster need? My Palico speak needs work. Oh, I can't claim... Add-on bonuses. Why not? Well, that's how I was going to save. What the heck? Maybe I can do it now? Meowster, good luck with your... First field mission. I look forward to hearing all about it. My palico speak needs work. Uh, okay, well that's how I was gonna save it, but uh, it had other ideas. For some reason, you cannot save in here. I don't know why, it's very strange. And uh, it doesn't auto-save during this entire quest. So you need to not only finish the quest, but you need to also go outside. Otherwise, it's not gonna save for you. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Now that you have access to the armory and provision stockpile, grab what you need. Once you're done, go meet up with your handler in the canteen to sign up for a quest. Handlers sort through the research commission's leads. And the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. Hey! Alright. We are going to wrap it up right here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.